In contrast to humans, zebrafish can regenerate their heart after injury. The overall goal of the following experiment is to characterize regeneration of the zebrafish heart in response to myocardial infarction. This is accomplished by inducing heart infarcts using a technique called cryoinjury, which destroys approximately 20% of the ventricle. After a specific recovery period, the hearts are collected and fixed and the progression of cardiac regeneration at different time points is assessed. Then, the fixed hearts are sectioned in replicates in order to perform different analyses of the same specimen. Results are obtained that show various cellular and molecular aspects of the regenerative process using histological staining, in situ hybridization, and immunofluorescence. The main advantage of the cryo-injury technique over existing methods in zebrafish, like partial amputation of the ventricular apex, is that it causes extensive cell death within a large portion of the myocardium. In fact, rapid free-storing tissue mimics physiological responses of ischemia-induced infarction observed in humans. This method can help answer key questions in the field of regenerative biology, such as what factors stimulate cardiomyocyte proliferation in zebrafish? How can the injured heart maintain its life essential contractile activity during extensive tissue remodeling that involves transient scar deposition and regrowth of the lost heart muscle? How are these opposing cellular responses of fibrosis and new myocardium formation coordinated? to achieve complete heart regeneration in zebrafish. The